Good morning, family. Um, we're out here in CWC parking lot, and uh, we've got about two weeks till I head to India. But before that, we got a group going to Philadelphia. We're gonna go try and level on some people down there. Give them hygiene stuff, some food, some clothes. But most importantly, we're gonna take the word of God to them. Just try and share a little bit of love of Jesus and uh, and get them uh, at least thinking about getting cleaned up and, and, and how the power of the Holy Spirit will help them do that. Um, I got about, I think, 30 people, maybe a little more. Got a little group of teenagers going, half a dozen of them, and uh, maybe 30 adults, so we probably got 35-ish going. Uh, we, got the, we got the bus, the last time you saw the bus, um, I think I had it in Canada. I built this bus for this kind of thing. I want to see if I can get people to, um, instead of go to church, go be the church. And uh, it started slow. We had uh, seven guys go the first time we went to Philly. I don't even know how many trips we've made, eight, ten. And now we're up to 35. And I would love to have you go with us at some point. If there's one place in the state of Pennsylvania that I know that needs the Lord, it's the streets of Kensington and Philly. Drugs have consumed so many people down there. They are homeless. They are doing whatever they have to do <laughs> to make a dollar to buy their next fix. And all we do is go down and share a, bit, a little, little bit of love with them. And... Uh, remind them that people love them, that God loves them, and that there is hope that it can be beat. We've had a little success. We've had a few people, two, a couple get off at one point. They're home. He's in jail. She's still clean. Um, the last trip down, we had another guy check into rehab. But there's no guarantees with any of this. Um, but we go down and we try and share a little love. Um, as you see, we're gathering gathering clothes we're gathering clothes toothbrush toothpaste deodorant wet wipes um, snacks just to hand out with the hot dogs that we cook and uh, uh, fruit we got bananas we got apples we got a pile of water As you can see in the bus uh, we got a freezer uh, full of hot dogs at this point and uh, bags of ice. We just hand out some chips and other snacks and uh, we try and love on people in the name of Jesus. Um, these are those little baby deodorants that uh, Steph found online. Uh, you buy from Amazon. I, I don't even know how many are in a box, but they're like perfect for the homeless because they can stick them in their pocket. And when they get high and they're passed out on the street, they still have them in their pocket when they wake up. The same thing with these little baby toothpaste. Steph found these on Amazon. They're cheap. They can stick them in their pocket. And when they wake up from their high, they still got them. And these little snacks that they can put in their that they can put in their uh, little bags that they carry. Because basically all they got is a Walmart bag, so um, they lose everything every time they get high. I uh, want to take you in a bus. Um, right now we're in packing mode. It's a little dark in here because I can't open the windows for light. But I hope you can see. Um, I take the bunks that we built. We fold the bunks up. Um, let me sit down here a little bit. Fold the back so the seat's up what was supposed to be bunk beds and now become racks for uh for all the clothes <laughs> and uh <laughs> you'd be amazed how much you can haul in a bus um we got a sink for hand washing uh microwave warm stuff up we got a little generator that we run um like i said we got a freezer um down underneath got a coffee pot for uh, cold days when we're down there serving this whole back area this whole I don't know, 10 feet of the back will be absolutely packed full 
uh, when we leave tomorrow. Um, it is pretty amazing what you can fit in this bus, um, along with uh, seats for 12. But Brian always stands on the front, so we can haul 14 people in this baby and and an unbelievable amount of stuff. And uh, it really is a blessing from God. You know, we had the idea a while back to build this thing. Um, Mark and I talked about it on the trip to, to Guatemala. Um, we wanted to actually run it back and forth to Guatemala, but it's not built for that. So we came up with another idea, and so far it's been pretty daggone amazing um, how, how the ministry has grown out of it, and uh, it's been used. Um, so if, if you're, if you've thought about contributing to, to the homeless, if you want to go on a trip, that would be, um, my suggestion because, um, these things change your heart. They help you, they help you to know the, the needs that are really out there. I hear people all the time say, well, we got poor around here. Uh, there's a food pantry right there twice a month that feeds people. And there's at least three others in town. So yeah, we got poor, but ain't nobody starving. You go down on these streets and, and you see people that are literally starving. Now, I'll give you, they're kind of doing it to themselves. But um, they're humans. They're created in God's image. God loves them. Jesus died for them too. And uh, we're just trying to go and share a little love with them. But this is the only place that I know of in the area that I can take people to and let them see real need. So if you'd love or love to go, if you'd like to go, ever thought about going, I highly recommend it. Maybe you can't go for whatever reason, and you can give some deodorant or toothpaste or or baby wipes or hot dogs or whatever. Um, please consider it because these people not only are starving, they're starving for Jesus. Most of them don't even know it. Go down to try and remind them that they are loved, that God loves them, we love them, and that Jesus died for them. And he will help them through the Holy Spirit. He will help them win this battle against addiction. They can go home to their families. They can go home to their children. Many of them have children that they've left for drugs. Um, that there is a future beyond the streets of Kensington and cheap, pure drugs. Um, I love you. I, I hope you'll consider going. I hope you'll, instead of going to church on Sunday, I hope you'll consider being the church. You know, there's nothing, absolutely go to church, but it's one day of the week. There's a whole lot of needs that need to be met. Man, People to love. <laughs> <laughs> Come on out and love on people with us.